let's talk about the Equal Rights Amendment. Introduced in 1972, the ERA says that equality of rights under the law shall not be denied or abridged by the United States or by any state on account of sex. Whoa, equal protections for women. Controversial, daring. Back in the 70s, Congress passed the ERA, but after strong opposition from the religious right, only 35 states voted to ratify it, just three short of the required 38. So the ERA stalled out. Until now, 40 years after Indiana became state number 35, in 2017, Nevada became state number 36. One year later, Illinois joined in, meaning we only need one more state, plus a resolution from Congress to extend the original deadline. Okay, so two questions. One, why is it so important that we pass the ERA? Two, why are some people still fighting so hard to make sure we don't? These questions have the same answer. Because the ERA will help protect women's rights to health care, including abortion. With five anti-choice justices on the Supreme Court and Roe v. Wade on the chopping block, it's more important than ever that we codify women's bodily autonomy in our laws. The ERA is about one thing, equality. Every woman's right to participate in our democracy, our economy, our society, to make our own decisions, to control our own bodies. Imagine that. We can't count on the Supreme Court to protect us. It's time to pass the Equal Rights Amendment and enshrine our rights in the Constitution forever. Go to nirel.org ERA to find out how you can help.